Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Chasm. So this time between episodes, I did go and grind a little bit in the temple and I ended up getting a drop that kind of opened my eyes to something. That drop being the crystal rod, a magical rod that can fire crystalline projectiles. So I was looking at it. I'm like swinging it. I'm like, how do you shoot projectiles? And then I started doing some like street fighter like type moves and it's back forward back forward and attack and you shoot like sonic booms boom and it uses mana but that's still really cool but then i was like i got another weapon that said it was magic as well and maybe this as well we'll look trident so i was like okay the trident look at that right now it's orange okay but if you press forward forward attack See? It's like electrified. So that's that. And then, let's see, Sword of Light. Maybe? I don't know. Don't know. And then I also noticed, just trying out a bunch of different things, that it seems as if Troll's Sword is faster. That seems way faster than it was, you know? So it's not so bad anymore, but we're still, doesn't matter, we're using the Assassin's Sword, which does more than 48 damage. It shows that it does 48 damage, but it actually does like 55 now, I think, or maybe something like that, I don't know. Anyway, what I do know is we're gonna die, <laughs> but we're doing it. It's time to hopefully fight the boss of the temple the shaman. It's going to be the shaman. You know that. Just by reading like everything that we've read so far. We fought King Trell in the keep. Now we're going to go down here and it's going to be the shaman. I bet. I bet. And here we go. Okay, the boss room is right here. So I'm going to try to no hit it. So if I get hit, you know, I'm going to keep resetting the game. Okay. Whoa. All right. Whoa. I'm getting lucky so far. Okay, well, we got hit. So now I got to end the game. And we got to do this again. I'm going to keep doing this until we get it. I just did it easy peasy using time potions and my magic dagger, magic knife. You better give it to me. That is right. That is right. And we get the shaman's axe. That was way easy. It's so easy to take advantage of that, guys. Get that time potion. Shaman's Axe, a ceremonial tool that is both bone-bladed axe and scepter. Okay. I don't know what it does. I don't know if it does anything special. Oh, look at this. Wait, we have another... Is this like... Oh, I thought we could go in that door. We can't. I just need to uncover this entire room. 
if I can, please. Okay. Because there's also an achievement for uncovering the entire map. Hey, come on. Okay, we did it. Now, uh, sure, I'll use this a little bit. And it's the gem. We got it. Now, where do we go? Oh, I know where we go now. I know where we go now. We go back to the gardens again. To that door right in the beginning of the gardens. Oh, and you're back here. I gotta equip this. The crystal rod, though, is really, really cool. But I want to power this up. The assassin sword. Actually, you know, we gotta do... Yeah, whatever. I was hoping to catch you before you went any further. You've done magnificent work shutting down the temple and closing the gateway. But I'm afraid this is not over yet. Ulak has been cut off from its energy source, but it may already be powerful enough to bring in on the Age of Darkness. These inscriptions say its chamber lies somewhere in the depths beyond this door. Only the shadow gem you retrieved from the temple will open the way. I know you feel it is your duty to complete your mission, but I must beg you to reconsider. Who knows what horrors you will face down there? Even a skilled warrior such as yourself may not make it back. If you do choose to go on, please prepare yourself first. I will head back to town now and await your return. Good luck, young knight. Let's do it. Can't go through here, right? Oop, okay. Let's go. Into the nether realms. Or wherever we are headed. Let's go. Fun times. Where are we? We are in magma chamber. I think this is the end game, guys. Who knows how difficult this is going to be, though. And obviously, we still have like an entire area. Ooh, do we? We still have maybe an entire area to go through. I hope, actually. I hope it's not just, like, a boss fight. Checking the walls. Uh, okay. Cool. Yeah, this is gonna totally be... Oh, look at this. It's a Shoggoth. It is a Shoggoth. We got a diamond. Oh, it's a Mind Flayer now. Whoa. Ow. And you drop Platinum. Where do we get the Meteorite from? We haven't gotten any Meteorite ingots. Probably in here. Um, I wonder what the mini boss of this area is going to be. Whoa, okay. Ow. How much damage did he do? I thought I saw like 50. So that boss, the shaman was cool, even though we totally cheesed it to no hit it, you know? I didn't, I could have just fought it normally, but you know, if I could cheese something, I like cheesing it. <laughs> if it's cheesable, it gets cheesed by me. I mean, next time I play through, maybe I won't do that. But for the sake of... Wait, where are my heals? I ate all my food? I guess I did. Except for the scones. Let's just drink a potion. Okay. See, let's check up here. I wonder if this area has any... Ooh, save rooms? Probably not. Actually, it doesn't look very oop, safe here. Oh yeah, what's this? Nice. Give me that mana. We haven't seen... There was no... Uh... Wait, was there one of those ghostly roulette guys? We're going to mark this. It's a buff. 
Oh, look at that. We found the secret. Just like that. Just like that. Okay. And here... Smash. I guess we'll go up. Uh, sure. Whoa, dude. Oh my god. Ow. <laughs> uh, yes. Let's not get hit over and over and over again. It's not good for my health. But we get this. Cattail whip. I might have to change weapons. A whip with multiple strands bound to a common core. Yes! Does it do any magic? I don't think it does. It should shoot fireballs. Like a special fireball attack. I'm trying to Hadouken, but it's not working. Okay. We're using a whip again, guys. We've come full circle. Oh, you do respawn. Ow. <laughs> oh, we got mithril armor again. Uh, which I should equip, actually, but... I'm just gonna use a high potion. Oops. Should've used a regular potion. Whatever. We got a whip. All right, I knew it. I had a feeling. Blop. All right. Yeah, what's this now? Cool. More mana. So I wonder what that enemy is called. We should probably, here, let me hit him with our hunting sword just so we could get that uh where is it wait hum, hunting sword boom I don't know if we have to kill it with the hunting sword shambler okay it's like the shambler from quake pretty much it looked like it, except bigger. Uh, yeah, let's use the whip. Even though I am definitely a fan of the swords now, the whip feels slower. But it's so cool, look at that. A demon whip. Oh wait, we gotta get out of here. Alright. Now, because I'm editing the shaman fight, I do not know how much longer we really have to go in this recording, this episode, but okay. I'm going to keep going here for a little bit and see, kill some Shoggoths, ow, that hurt. Ow, stop. Okay. Uh, I kind of want to use the sword. Because I want to get that thing really powered up. Sorry. Sorry, Cattail Whip. Sorry, Castlevania. But this thing... is just... so good. It's fast, and it does 56 damage per hit. And it's powering up every time I hit something with it. Ow. Man. Keep an eye on my HP. Okay. It's just hard to... Alright. Dodge these guys. Obviously. Get out of here. Okay. Potion. We have warp scrolls. 
Beef stew. When did I get that? I don't even remember getting that. Unless I just picked it up or something. Like after killing something and I just happened to be standing on it. Oh my god. Okay, well. Yeah. Got lost. Got lost, buddy. This isn't Hollow Knight. You know what? Let's kill this guy with... This. With sonic booms. Or not. <laughs> 57 damage. I don't know how much HP this thing has. Got two off there. We just gotta keep doing that. Ow. 15 damage, that's no big deal. Man. Okay. Lava worm. Let's re-equip the assassin sword. Looks like it, it sounds like a gate was just unlocked. Oh. Hmm. Is this the end? This might be the end, guys. I think it is. We're falling really far down. It's not the end. Wow. Okay. Onward. Oh, look at this. And there's a skeleton. Bookworm, yeah. And Caro. As my men and I returned to complete a shrine, we found the king and his minions waiting for us. He made me watch as they pushed my workers one by one into a seemingly bottomless chasm, saving me for last. The drop seemed to take forever, and at the bottom, the bodies broke my fall. All but three of us perished. However, we did not let this shake our faith. We built this final shrine to aid the Lightbringer, whomever they may be. I faithfully served the Watchers, and now it is time to join them at last. I think this is it. I'm pretty sure this is it. So we're going to put that other thing back on for now. The... Where is it? Captain's Brizard. Captain Brizard. And that's it. We're going in with this. Maybe. Save. We got a bunch of... Uh, we don't have much mana. Actually, let's use a tonic. Okay. I got plenty of heals. Oh no, maybe it's not it. I don't know. Maybe we still have like an entire... Look at that. Can't hide that from me. Cool. Give me that. I'll take it. Okay. Now... Get up here. Ah, nope. All right. Ow. So I was thinking that maybe the final boss was like right down here, but it's looking like maybe it's not. Whoa, okay. Unless it's over here. I think we're probably gonna have to fight Oh my god. A mini boss? That may have been it. But it's looking like it's getting more complex again. Oh, look at this. We got another buff and a beef stew. That's probably where we got the first one. You feel fortunate. Very fortunate. What's down? Whoa, okay. Okay, I'm glad I checked. More HP. Yeah, this is definitely... We're very close to the end. I'm going to keep going, guys. 
gonna definitely keep going here. Crate Buster! Nice! I got an achievement for breaking all the crates, I think. And was that a learning scroll? Uh... Yes, it was. Strength plus one? Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Our long journey seems to be almost at an end. I have to just fall down here. Okay, look. Sight potion, probably. Let's try it. Most likely. Um, I have them, yeah. No? Just an empty room? Really? Huh. Okay. It's very interesting. Just die. Don't really care about the money. Oh, we got another one of you. And we leveled up. Perfect timing. This is pretty epic right now. The music. Ow. I thought some fiery axe dropped. We're determined. Ow. Get in that lava. It probably wouldn't hurt you, but whatever. I gotta take that. Uh oh. Oh, the music stopped. You know what that means. Okay, final boss time, guys. This is this has to be it. So we're gonna drink a strength potion, a speed potion, a time potion, and we're gonna eat something real quick. Let's eat a lamb chop for good luck, or beef stew for good luck. We're wasting it, but we have heals, so whatever. And I'm gonna. <laughs> Some tonic. There we go. Is this Ulak? We're slowed down. Okay. Look at that. Free hits. Whoa, okay. I guess we'll keep it off for now. I'm not going to try to no-hit this boss, because there's no New Game Plus that I know of. Oh my god. Okay. Ow. Oh, it just... Whoa. Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, potion. It's taking the blocks away. Ow. I don't know if you die instantly if you hit the lava. Let's try to not find out. Ugh. Ow. One seventy four HP. Yeah, that's some pretty tough stuff to dodge right there. This would take a lot of attempts to figure out. <laughs> um, okay, well. Let's heal. Hopefully he doesn't take all of my blocks away. Before we're able to kill him. Let's use another strength potion, another speed potion. Why not? I'm not going to use a time potion. Ow. Oh my god. Holy crap. He's really tough. Imagine trying- oh, we did it. Ulock. Get out of here, nerd. Whew, I gotta watch somebody no-hit that now. 
I don't think it drops anything anyway. But you never know. But from from what I know, there's no new game plus or anything. So do we have to escape. Oh man. Um. The light of the watchers. Londar, wake up! <laughs> Just like it began. Are you alright? I was resting in the tavern when everything began to shake. I rushed out to see what was going on, and I was blinded by a bright light. The next thing I knew, you were right here under the statue. It's saved. The town is saved. A wave of lava rushed through the mines and cleared out all of those vile beasts. Even more incredible is that it left behind enough ore to keep the town prosperous for years to come. Magnificent work. Your bravery and dedication truly befit a Gildian knight. I'm going to make sure all of Gildia knows of your great deeds here. Now, enough talk. It's time to celebrate. <laughs> nice. There's the balloon floating in the background from the inventor. And we've been knighted. Excellent. Yeah. There's Princess Barkin. Little woof. There's everyone, actually. I like how they show the balloon, though. That's cool. Chasm. We have done it. We have completed the game. Wow. So the end came up a little suddenly, it did, but, and the ending was, you know, very simple, simplistic and simple. That's what I was expecting though. Like this game met all of my expectations. That's probably why I love it. And I'm not one of those people who was really disappointed by it because it's definitely what I was expecting. I was expecting a very retro callback to like these games from the 16-bit era and early 32-bit era like Castlevania Symphony of the Night etc. Super Metroid very simple but very good. It was very nicely put together. A few of the things like like what's the point of getting these cool weapons at the very end of the game if there's no uh, like new game plus anyway like what's the point I guess you know I have my save at the very end there I can choose to go back through the game again all the areas find the secrets that I missed because I know I probably found I mean I know I probably missed a few secrets in the gardens and the keep or not the keep but the catacombs and the gardens I think I need to find secret areas there uh I need to fill out the entire journal. So, I mean, there's still things to do in this playthrough, man versus game. Uh, but yeah, like it's definitely, even though we just finished it, I still, I want to go back through it again from the beginning, this time with the knowledge of knowledge I have now, like, and maybe do a challenge run or something like whip only. So we got to go with the le leather whip in the beginning, or I mean, we'll use whatever we can in the very beginning. Leather whip, once we get that, and then the bone whip, and then the thorn whip, and then the cattail whip at the end. You know? So we explored 99.9%, .9%, but I got the achievement for exploring 100%. 22 hours, mostly because of all the farming I did, especially for the emerald blade. That took a while. Rescued 100%. 8,134 kills. The majority of those kills were gelatinous cubes. Definitely. Damage taken 22,000. Difficulty normal. 
There's my seed once again. If you want to play through this entire game with the exact same world layout that I had and the exact same item layout, because the items change too, depending on what seed you have, which is very cool. Very cool. Record your progress. Uh, yeah. Why not? So let me just jump back in real quick. Any extras? My stats. Okay. Normal one, hard one, nightmare, and mortal. Oh, wow. So there's different modes besides hard. 25,000 gold spent, almost 26,000. Backer rewards. Backer's tome. Nice, okay. Uh, so let's just see. So I continue. Hang on, let's go. Magma chamber. So we have the entire thing unlocked. So it's saved at the very end. So are you guys going to say anything different? It's good to see you again. Take a look at my inventory. You may see something you like. Just be careful. They're sharp. Oops. I don't think so. I think they say the same thing. It would be cool if there was like a post game where they, you know, you go back in and all the NPCs say something different, maybe sell different things, you know? That would be cool. Let's, uh, we got to check with everyone, though, just in case. I, wait, she does. I call it an elixir since it restores both your health and your magic. I've added it to my shop already, so please give it a try. Sorry, I just, oh, look at this. Good Samaritan. We got another achievement. Huh. That's cool. Yeah, we'll buy five of these. Why not? <laughs> can't talk to you can I play wait oh you're still injured so it, okay but can I play knights and bandits it's a long trek back to the capital you're still here you haven't left yet for the capital and you ah come on I have time I beat the game already there should be I'm a little disappointed in that, that there's not like a little post game scene where all the NPCs say different things, maybe sell some cheaty items. So like even more cheaty than some of them are, <laughs> but yeah, it's not a single creature. Just want to see maybe the, the mayor says something different. Oh, the balloon! We never saw you. I think it's working. It will take a while to fully inflate. Boy, is my arm tired. We never checked with you. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. But we saw it in the ending. So we knew it worked. And you... Hello there, young recruit. Any luck finding the source of these disturbances? Yeah, we did it. Yeah, I think they should change... I mean, they've been patching the game. The game just got patched a little while ago, actually. Tonight. Uh, but I think that this, after you beat the game and you save in that same slot, there should be like a little bit of like post game stuff, you know, that would be nice. But anyway, guys, all right, I'm going to end this. It's been a great series for me. I thoroughly enjoyed playing every minute of this. Like I've said many times throughout the series, I hope that you guys really enjoyed it too. And I will be streaming it at some point. Uh, I will. De I definitely want to do another playthrough of this. Probably a challenge playthrough because that sounds really interesting to me. Anyway, all right. And we'll no hit all the bosses. <laughs> we have to. But I'll do that on stream or something. But thank you guys very much. I appreciate all of you. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you again really soon in something else. Peace out.